but Larry King, the award-winning journalist who became cable television's most well-known talk show host, has died at the age of 87. He hosted Larry King Live at CNN for more than 25 years and interviewed thousands of people during his career. News Channel 3's Caitlin Thrope reports on King's contributions and his connection to the Coachella Valley. Larry King spent more than half a century as a broadcaster. It's been a hell of a 50 years. I don't know how much longer I can go. <laughs> but as long as I feel it, I'm going to keep going. King was born in Brooklyn, New York in 1933 as Larry Ziegler. He moved to Miami in his 20s to pursue a job in radio. In 1978, he started The Larry King Show. Good evening. My name is Larry King, and this is the premiere edition of Larry King Live. In a Desert Sun newspaper article from January 11th, 1984, it mentions Larry King broadcasting one night from the Sheraton Plaza's Palm Canyon Room. Now that hotel is the Hilton Palm Springs. Over more than 25 years, he interviewed celebrities, politicians, and newsmakers. A New York Times columnist, Maureen Dowd, referred to King as, quote, the resort area of American journalism, the media's Palm Springs, where politicians and other figures of controversy or celebrity can go to unwind, kick back, and reflect, end quote. From interviewing Frank Sinatra to Al Pacino and Brad Pitt, he famously kissed Marlon Brando. Goodbye. Goodbye. I've kissed my brother on the cheek and I've had friends hug me, but he's the only man to ever kiss me on the lips and I can't stop thinking about him. He also sat down with past and present American presidents from Richard Nixon. Uh, let's set this here. Did you hate the people who criticized you. To Barack Obama. I still like this job. Oh, uh, this is uh, the best job on earth. He covered live news events from wars to elections. Do you think you're going to cost Al Gore the election tonight? Honestly. No. King was married eight times, the last to Sean Southwick. He signed off his final broadcast on December 16th, 2010. Palm Desert welcomed Larry King in March of 2012 in an evening with Larry King at the McCallum Theater where he spoke about his upbringing and his iconic media career. King also dined at Melvin's Restaurant and Lounge in Palm Springs. His photo can be seen hanging on the wall there. I don't know what to say except to you, my audience. Thank you. And instead of goodbye, how about so long? I'm Caitlin Thrope, News Channel 3. What a remarkable career. King's official cause of death was not announced, but in early January, King's family announced he was in the ICU after testing positive for COVID-19.